Method 1. Also, my recommended way is to record with an app called Airshow. It's a free app, very easy to use. In your browser, type in this link. I've also pasted it in the description box below for you to copy. Let's scroll down and click on this Airshow button. In the app description page, click install. And there's another pop-up asking you to follow their YouTube channel. We'll do that later. Click install. Another pop-up informing you that you need to authorize the app if you have an iOS 9. We'll get to that later. Then confirm install to begin downloading. And back to the home screen. You see this app is installing like other regular apps. Alright, it's done. Like I said, before we open, we need to authorize it. So let's go to settings. Scroll down and select device management and click here to trust Airshow. All set! Let's go back and open the app. So the interface is really simple and intuitive. Only two options are there, broadcast and record. Select record and customize the settings a little bit. So we can rename the video, I put test, and we can choose orientation from four options. Depends on the interface of the app you want to present. Since I'm going to do a gameplay, I will choose landscape with button on the right and resolution. So you can select from 480p to 1080p. I'll go with the maximum. Okay, next step. According to the instructions, you need to swipe from the bottom of the screen and turn on AirPlay mirroring and select Airshow. So the recording begins. Let's press home button and go back to home screen. Let's open Dream Legal. It's a great app to test the recording because it has a lot of colors and motions in the game interface. Let's just skip these instructions. And the match begins. You know what? I'll stop recording as soon as I score. Okay, great tackle! I got an opportunity! And shoot! Yes! Oh my gosh! I just scored within seconds! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was testing recording. Almost forget. So let's quit and go back to Airshow and just click this red button to stop recording. Then you can click the button on the top right and visit Media Library. So this is a save to recording and we can preview it and save to camera roll. It's pretty convenient. Let's test the video quality. So we import the video to Filmora Video Editor, Media Library and right click on it, select Properties. Let's see the data. So the resolution is not actually 1080p as I selected. That's weird. But look at the frame rate per second. It's almost 60. That's a remarkable number. And let's check the game part. An efficient way is to right click and select scene detection. So Filmora will detect and split different scenes in the videos. So we can get rid of the clips we don't need and import only those clips we want. So I'll leave this gameplay part and click apply. So they'll be on the timeline. Let's preview the moment of, um, of course, my score. So the video is really smooth and quality seems good. Let's try applying a slow-mo and right-click on it to change the speed to half, which is around 30 FPS. Because technically, this FPS is still good to watch. So the video is still smooth, it's not laggy. Conclusion, the video quality is quite decent with Airshow. Method 2. Recording your iPhone with a Mac computer. You can actually connect it to your iPhone with an USB cable and record your iPhone screen with software like QuickTime Player or ScreenFlow. I'll take QuickTime as an example. Make sure your iPhone is connected to the Mac and just open Launchpad, select QuickTime and click File. New Movie Recording. Usually, your iPhone screen will show up. If not, just click the drop down next to the recording button and choose Connect Device, select your iPhone device. Let's open Dream League again. Okay, when you are ready, just click the red button to start recording. You can monitor the video on the Mac. It seems I got a free kick. Okay, click the recording button again to start and preview will show up. You can play the preview here. You can also close the program 
and choose the location to save the video. So that's pretty easy, isn't it? Method 3. Record your iPhone screen with Windows. If you use Windows, it's a little bit complex. The mechanism is to mirror your iPhone screen to a PC with a certain software like Air Server or Reflector. You need to download their apps and scan the QR code to begin mirroring and recording. I've put a link in my description box below so you can click that and visit their site. They both cost around $15 and have a 7 day free trial. I hope one of these methods help you record your iPhone screen easily. Alright, so Jerry, mm -hmm. did I answer your questions? Yes, I can't wait to try. Great, I hope that helps you guys record awesome gameplay or app tutorial on your iPhone too. If you find it useful, just click a like and share with your friends who might need it too. You can also guess which one of us is the elder brother. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks about video making. I'll see you around. This free application allows you to do most editing work you can accomplish with a robust PC video editor. Everything from basic trimming to adding transitions, filters, background music, voiceovers, 